Good evening, guys. This is Social Fire and part two for the Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day campaign. All the news is dropped. We have a lot of great stuff coming up, so we're gonna check it out right now. And honestly, I am hyped because we have a global first summon coming up tomorrow. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, so let's take a look, guys. First off, login bonuses, special missions still going on. Starting tonight through June 7th, and we'll go over missions toward the end of the video. We'll also have Dragonstone sales dropping late tonight in the store. So starting tonight through June 7th, you'll have buy 24 Dragonstones at the price of 12 Dragonstones. You can do that one time only. 32 Dragonstones over 50% off one time only. And then you can buy 91 Dragonstones over 20% off up to four times. Plus, we also have the 77 Dragonstone sale that you can do one time as well. So definitely a good advantage to take those sales are a good chance to take advantage of those sales. I can't even talk. It's been a long day, guys. Maybe I'm just that excited because like I said, we have the legendary summon for the global first LR Ultra Instinct dropping tomorrow. This guy's insane and has been quite anticipated for a really long time. Um, I was honestly shocked that global got this first, just considering how you know long people have waited for this. So this guy starts out as uh, Super Saiyan God Goku then we'll become um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and then at the end is LR Ultra Instinct Goku. If you haven't checked out the Super Attacks yet, definitely do that. This guy's amazing. Um, I was really hoping to save some stones for five year, but that's not happening now, so not going in too deep on this. It is a legendary banner. Those can be iffy. Um, I love Realm of Gods, though, so I really want this guy for my Realm of Gods team. We'll see what happens. I'll have summons up later tomorrow at some point when I have time. But if you're summoning on this, hopefully you'll have amazing luck, guys. It starts late tonight and will be going on through June 7th. Also, these story events are reopening. We have the Universe Survival Saga. We'll have the Universe Survival Saga story event, Final Battle of the Tournament of Power, where you can pick up the free-to-play units, 17 and 18. Decent free-to-play units, so definitely grind them up if you haven't done that yet. And you'll have Assemble Warriors of Universe 6. So um, we'll have those two free-to-play units there as well, again, starting tonight through June 7th. Also, Mysterious Ritual Summon for the Elder Kai's. 25 Dragonstones gets you five Elder Kai's, drops late tonight as well, and will be available through June 7th. We'll also have the Extreme Seed Fest banner up uh, starting on May 28th through June 14th, and this is another global first that I was really shocked about. Um, we'll talk, be talking about that in just a second, I'm guessing, yeah. Um, we have Vegeta's Family Category Summon starting May 28th through June 28th for the EZA. That will be the advantage, I'm guessing, and I'm hyped about that because I have a very good Vegeta's Family team, so finally, my ZA video, I'm going to have a pretty solid team for that, so definitely looking forward to running that as well. Extreme Z Battle Challenge Packs will be starting on May 28th through June 11th, so you purchase that for the tickets and such for the EZA banner. Uh, those will be live then. So guys, another global first, AGL Rose. What is this? This guy, I'm shocked again that he's dropping on global first. I mean, definitely happy. I have him rainbowed, so this is going to be perfect. I'm definitely taking advantage of this EZA. But I was really surprised to see that announcement. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this as well. So, I mean, global. Two great global first. I'm guessing this guy's going to be insane. So, May 28th through June 14th. Definitely take advantage of his EZA. If you somehow don't have him, at least do the first 30 stages because you're going to get the Dragonstones, Awakening Metals, and Kai's. Like I said, I've got him maxed out, so I'm really, really happy about that. Also, these story events are reopening for the free-to-play LR Goku and Raleigh. We have a Curse of the Blood Rubies, Sleeping Princess and Devil's Castle, and Mystical Adventure. So if you didn't finish the grind for them, you can take advantage of that coming up on May 28th through June 14th. All right, so let's take a look at part two missions here. All right, guys, um, did I click on part two missions? I think I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> it's, like I said, it's been a long day. All right, for real now, part two missions. All right, so daily missions, of course, guys. Make sure you clear stage without receiving any damage. Easy enough to do. You can run any simple stage. You could do the very first part of the quests, anything, as long as you don't take damage. Uh, you'll get one of each of the different types of training Z swords. Consume at least 30 stamina for one Hercule statue, and then complete those specified missions every day for one Dragonstone. 
And then we already discussed part one missions in the last news video, so we'll skip on past that and go to part two. All right, so first, win an Extreme Z battle against a level three enemy or higher for one Dozen Kai. Always easy to do that part. Uh, the first 10 levels are pretty much cake. Win an Extreme Z battle against a level five enemy or higher for two Dozen Kais. Win any Extreme Z battle seven times for 30 of the Incredible Gems. Win any Extreme Z battle 10 times for five of the Challenge Keys. Perform a step one Extreme Z Awakening for one Hercule statue. Clear stage under special conditions for three Baba items. Clear stage without using a support item five times for five of the Wii support items. Again, easy enough to do. You can run easy stages to complete those usually. Uh, clear stage using only super attacks three times for three story keys. Clear story event under special conditions once for two of those meat items that we discussed. So if you don't remember, those restore stamina instead of having to use dragon stones. Level up a super attack to level three or above for one of each of these Kai Awakening medals here. Level up a super attack to level five or above for two dozen Kais. Level up a super attack to level 10 or above for one Elder Kai. So hopefully if you're picking up the new LR Ultra Instant Goku and you're maxing them out, you'll be getting those rewards. I hope that's the case for me tomorrow. <laughs> and then consume at least 150 stamina for one Hercule statue and one of each of the different types of training turtle shells. Consume at least 300 stamina for one dragon stone. And if you complete all of the Goku special day missions, you'll get win one of each of these summon tickets and four dragon stones. So like I said, guys, I'm really excited about this. I was not expecting LR Ultra Instinct Goku on Global First. Definitely wasn't expecting AGL Rose. They just announced that and that's crazy. Um, but you know, great for us and JP players, you'll have an idea of what to look forward to. Um, so again, if you're summoning, hopefully you'll have amazing luck. I will try to be posting mine in the morning, but it'll be sometime tomorrow, just depending on work. And yeah, like I said, hopefully we'll have some decent luck on this legendary banner because uh, I don't know, these legendary banners always hit or miss for me. So I don't really know what to expect from this. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Just wanted to drop a quick video discussing some of the news here. Like I said, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.